Well, the general theme of my research is to try to understand um, why the U.S. dollar is so dominant in uh, the international economy. And so there are two sides of this, and I've studied both of them. One is on the financial side. Uh, the dollar is uh, the world's major reserve currency. It's the currency in which most firms issue their debt liabilities. Uh, it's the currency in which the central banks are holding their reserves. So it's one of the major currencies on the financial side. It's also one of the major currencies when we look at international trade, uh, the currency in which firms are invoicing exports or imports tends to be the dollar, even when the countries involved in this transaction don't um, go through the U.S. Um, so that's something that is quite phenomenal. Uh, the, this dominance of the dollar in world economic transactions is, is, is really uh, extremely strong and has increased over time, even more so. It's higher now, if you want, than it was maybe 30, 40 years ago when uh, we had a, an international monetary system that was centered on the United States. That system is gone, yet the dollar is uh, still very, very strong. And so I try to understand um, some of the key uh, determinants and characteristics of that um, international environment. The, the traditional view is that countries could choose to let their currency float um, against the dollar or against other currencies in order to insulate themselves and, and maintain a certain degree of uh, monetary autonomy, be able to set interest rates and monetary policy based on domestic economic conditions. Um, there's been a lot of work recently um, that has challenged that view and claims that because the dollar is so dominant and has such a strong influence on global financial conditions, it can also affect economies, um, foreign countries, even when they have a floating uh, exchange regime. Uh, so there is, a, there is sort of a, 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 re a revisionist view of the standard approach to thinking about um, fixed exchange rate versus floating exchange rates. So I've contributed uh, um, to that uh, line of research by trying to understand how monetary policy changes in interest rates in the US by the Federal Reserve, how that transmits to other economies, emerging market economies in other parts of the world, and trying to see whether countries are actually losing the ability to insulate themselves even when their exchange rate is floating um, in, in recent years when financial conditions might be very, very strongly affected by, uh, by the U.S. dollar. So I've worked on that.